Hello there, Harris County. This is Paul Winsky with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, and I'm out in the garden today looking at some palms. We're gonna see how well they performed from our recent cold spell. It's now the end of March, so it's been about six weeks. So let's take a look at these three species and see which ones you might consider purchasing if we ever have future cold spells. From this vantage point, we could see the three palms that we will be talking about. Uh, and we can see there's various, varying degrees of damage on each of these palms. So if we look at the uh, plant on my immediate left, the smallest is the windmill palm. In the middle is the Mexican fan palm, or Washingtonia robusta. And the third one is the sable palm, sable texana. We'll get up close and personal with, personal with each of these uh, to see how they performed, what type of damage. Our first palm is the Mexican fan palm. This is Washingtonia robusta. The mature height on this is gonna be between 60 and 90 feet tall. So this is one of the taller palms uh, of the three that we're gonna talk about. But as you can see, this plant really had quite a bit of damage. You can see the fronds are all brown, uh, the trunk, uh, and that's typical. I'm not seeing anything unique on it, but there is some good news here also. As I wor work my way around uh, the uh, Washingtonia, we can see some new growth in here. Uh, and this is exactly why we keep telling people just to wait, to be patient. So as we look in through here, there's a new frond that's gonna make its way out, which is excellent to see. So um, even though it, of the three, this is the one that probably took the most damage, um, there is some new growth. So I would give this probably another several weeks and then clean up the damaged fronds, that new growth, that spear is gonna come, uh, and this plant is gonna be well on its way. The second palm we're gonna look at today is the sable palm, or sable texana. Now you can see there is some damage on this uh, tree. We can see the fronds have some of that yellow brown color that we're becoming accustomed to. But as we work our way up inside this tree, uh, we can see much more green growth, uh, much better response, and look inside right in that middle where that growing point would be. Uh, let's go up and through here. We can see new growth is emerging from that growing point, which is exactly, exactly what we want to see. So, Sable Texana performed quite well. I would say it's probably number two. The Washingtonia had the most damage, which we saw first, uh, but that growing point is coming back, which is also a very good sign. So, we'll move over to the winner of the three palms next. The palm which performed the best from our recent freeze event is the windmill palm, Trachycarpus fortunii. Very little damage. I don't see any frost damage on it. Uh, nice and green all around. Now this is the smallest of the three species that we're looking at. Uh, this will mature at 10 to 20 feet. Uh, but as we look inside, we can see uh, flowers coming here also. So this plant, this species did not miss a beat at all. Really strong performance, nice and green, uh, continues to grow. So as you're thinking about replacing your palms, uh, you've got three species to think about. We looked at the sable palm, sable texana. We looked at the windmill palm, Trachycarpus fortunii. And we looked at the Mexican fan palm, uh, Washingtonia robusta. So they all had various degrees of damage from this freeze event. But it does look like all three are gonna survive. Even the one that took the biggest hit, the Washingtonia, the Mexican fan palm, it does have growth, uh, which is starting from that center point. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this quick little trip. 
Uh, I thought it was a, a great spot to really see how these three species were performing. Uh, and hopefully you can use that information to help you make some decisions down the road if you have to replace any palms or if you're looking to put some palms into that landscape. So by all means, contact us if you have any questions. We're with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. My name is Paul Winsky in Harris County. Keep gardening.